Today's stamping theme is mermaids. Joining us this week is Girly Nail 66, Never Naked Nails, and this is my mermaid Manny. Now I'll show you how I created it. Let's get started. I'll be using Hollow Taco's Blue Freezy. Sparkling Water, Light Link, Mint Mojito, Essie's Barefoot and Topless, or is it, no, oh, it's Topless and Barefoot. <laughs> the base and top coat I use are by Maxis. These are my all-time favorites from Maniology to use every time I stamp. So we have the Ice Cube Stamper, which is super sticky. I really love this one. We have the Sticky Base Coat and the Smudge Free Top Coat. And the stamping polish I'll be using is by Moira, and it's black. Today I'm going to use this Mermaid Life 2 plate and, by Uber Chic, and I'm going to use this mermaid and this mermaid tail. I'm going to try shrinking it because I think her face is quite big. Oh yeah, that works out good. So what I did was I just took this stamper and I just squeezed it in like this and then plopped it down on my image. And then when you pull up, it's, it's a shrunk. So yeah, that looks good. Just gonna clean off the bits around that I don't want. Gonna make this into a decal, so I'm gonna take my Maxis base coat and just put it around her and wait for that to dry before I color it in. Just gonna color it in with a little dotting tool. I already had the blue on, so I just took off my accent nails, which is kind of fun. You can just do that really quick if you're going to use the same other color. So I just did that really quick, and I applied my base coat, so I'm just waiting for that to dry. I put some liquid latex on. I hope there's no dog hair in there. I had to pick up Gucci <laughs> off the floor. Anyway, um, so I usually start out with a just a little piece of sponge that's just about the width of my fingernail. I'm just going to brush on the blue. I think I want most of it this light blue and then just a little bit of dark blue at the bottom. I'm just going to dab, dab, dab on the first coat. Oh. And I'm going to do that on this finger too. I think I'm going to do about three coats. So I just have to wait for this to dry really good in between. And this is the last sponging coat. I'm 
I'm just going to peel up the liquid latex. Now I'm just going to put my Finito Quick Dry Top Coat over the top and that's going to help blend it in and dry really quickly so that we can get on to the stamping. We colored in this um, image and we made it a decal. So I'm just going to lift it up. I'm just going to attempt to lift it up. <laughs> and then uh, let's see, let's put it on here. Here we go. Uh, look pretty cute and we have the tail part right here so I just want to um, remove some of this stuff I don't think I want these little droplets here okay that'll look that looks fine I'm going to take in a dotting tool and I'm just going to color it in with mint mojito. Oh no, I was supposed to do the other one first. Shh. Okay, well, you know what? It's fine. <laughs> we'll just do it backwards. I wasn't thinking. That's, that's fine. Okay, so now I'll just put that aside to dry a bit. We're waiting for that to dry. I want to see if this is going to stick. Oh yeah, it did. Okay, that's good. Because it's a decal, I wasn't sure if I would need the, um, the, the sticky base coat for this one. But I didn't, so that's good. Just going to clean off around the edges here, part of the decal that's hanging off. I like that. I'm just going to put some smudge free top coat over the top of that, and that just, um, protects the stamped image from smudging okay and the tail is right I kind of wanted it to look like bluish green you know very aquatic mermaidy you know fishy I don't know if that's going to happen. Since I layered it wrong, but look at how beautiful that looks. You know, the, the, um, <clears throat> the multi-chrome is kind of a lighter multi-chrome. So I wanted something a little bit darker underneath, but that's the look that I was going for. Let's flip it over and see what I actually got. <laughs> not bad. Not, not bad at all. I think that'll work. But in case you want to do it the right way, um, put this on first and then <laughs> put the other color on. 
It looks so pretty. It's also sparkly. Okay, well, I'm sure the other side will be sparkly as soon as I get it on my nail. I'm just going to have to wait for this to dry a bit. Now I'm just going to add the Maniology Sticky Base Coat to the top of this nail, and that's so the stamped image will definitely stick to the nail when I want it to. Okay, I'm just going to put my mermaid tail down right here. That's good. Now I'm just going to add the smudge free top coat over the top of the mermaid tail. Now I'm just going to um, put on my Maxis Finito top coat and that's just to give it a great shine and protect my manicure against chipping. This is the finished manicure. I I love how it came out. I hope you guys do too. I always say that, but I'm always shocked when when you know my manicure comes out that I love it. Because if I didn't love it, you guys wouldn't even see it anyway. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be there would be no film. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so so much for watching and bye for now.